This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Ashley Matthews. Welcome to San Diego News Daily. San Diego is hoping to get more people out of their cars and into more environmentally friendly transportation options with a new promotion to celebrate California Clean Air Day. Today, all rides on the bus, trolley, sprinter and coaster are free. Officials hope this event will help educate people about sustainable transportation choices available in San Diego. San Diego says it's a way to save money and help the environment at the same time. One, we talked about gas prices are skyrocketing. Number two, there's congestion throughout the region. If we can share rides, take transit, that relieves traffic congestion. And if for no other reason, it's about cleaning up our air. This promotion is just this one day for adults and no ticket is required. Those who are 18 and under though can always ride mass transit for free. They just need a Pronto account and that's free. Just download the app or get the Pronto card. This comes as gas prices continue to go up in San Diego. Today we saw prices go up about a penny, putting the average price per gallon at about 643. That's the fifth day in a row we've seen the record go up. Experts say it's a positive sign, though, that we're not seeing daily double digit increases like last week. And hopefully that means prices will start to level off and eventually drop. But that depends on whether refineries can complete their maintenance. The governor recently moved to allow gas stations to use winter blend fuel earlier than usual. That could also help bring down prices. Meantime, businesses are really starting to feel the pressure of those rising prices. Local nonprofit Home of Guiding Hands serves San Diegans of all ages with developmental disabilities from career help to housing and transportation. So the agency says it takes about $300 to fill up each of the 14 shuttles they use to drive their clients around. They also own more than 30 vans. Current gas prices have sent overall costs for the organization through the roof. Our costs have gone up about 57% as an agency um, compared to uh, what we were spending before the cost of gas rose. Um, and that's addition to the inflation on um, the maintenance of the vehicles, um, which is also added to our costs as well. The organization does not charge their clients for their services and really relies on donations to stay afloat. And despite those higher operating costs, they have not had to cut any of their essential services. Caltrans has declared a state of emergency and Amtrak has suspended train service between Oceanside and Orange County due to coastal erosion and a landslide in San Clemente. Repairs are now underway. NBC7's Jackie Crea has more. Heads up if you travel to Orange County and back, transit authorities have suspended trains for both Amtrak and Metrolink for at least another month because of the coastal erosion in the San Clemente area north of here has weakened the tracks. So Orange County officials have declared a state of an emergency, meaning they're going to do some repairs immediately to try to get that track up and running. So heads up if you need to get past Oceanside and North, try and figure out your own transportation. There might be some buses that either Metrolink or Amtrak have arranged, but this is all because of the tropical storm K that added so much wind and water and rain. It weakened the slopes. In Del Mar, Jackie Crea, NBC7. Well, in other news, investigators are still trying to get to the bottom of a deadly plane crash near Hummel. It happened yesterday afternoon. Crews searched from the air and on the ground for the plane's wreckage. They found debris in a remote area of Lion's Peak, along with human remains. A spokesperson for Cal Fire says there was no smoke or flames visible from the crash and the terrain made for a very difficult search. It took an hour for first responders to find the plane. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hey Ashley, it's looking like a pretty good afternoon. Comfortable at the coast, mid 70s. I think we'll see some late day clearing. Some of the clouds may try and linger along the coastline, but they could be pretty stubborn for a while too. Mid 70s for the inland Valley is about the mid 80s. Sunny skies, mountains will be sunny and around 80 degrees. Deserts right near 100, but the deserts are finally going to start to see a break in temperatures as we head into the weekend. Here's your forecast for the coast for the next four days as we head into the weekend to mid 70s Thursday, Friday, upper 70s by Saturday. Ashley, a woman shot by police in the East Village two years ago is suing the department. We'll have the latest coming up. 
Doc's plans are flexible, and it's really quite clever. Add TV, phone, or home automation, whenever. Get Cox Internet for the everyday low price of $49.99. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. I'm Ashley Matthews. Let's get right into your local stories. A woman who was shot by San Diego police two years ago is now suing the department. In May of 2020, several people called 911 when Rosa Calva broke a window at her East Village apartment and threw furniture and cleaning supplies out of it. When police got there, Calva was barricaded in the bathroom with a knife. Officers say when their verbal commands and pepper bullets didn't work, they sent in a canine and say Calva punched the dog. Then an officer kicked in the door and fired four times. She survived, but still has two bullets in her body. Calva's mother wants to know why mental health professionals were not called in. My daughter, she has a mental problem, schizophrenia, bipolar, depression. She, has, she wasn't taking her medicine at that time. The DA has cleared the officers of any wrongdoing. Calva's attorney is seeking monetary damages and is requesting that the officers pay punitive damages as well. A new mental health clinic is open in Oceanside to help veterans, active duty service members, and their families. The facility is on Ocean Ranch Boulevard. The location was chosen because it's only about seven miles from Camp Pendleton. Organizers say the clinic aims to meet the increasing mental health needs of members of our military. More than 73,000 veterans and active duty service members, along with 31,000 military family members, will be eligible for care. A North County school district is taking action after a controversial poster displayed during class at Carmel Valley Middle School. We first told you about the story last week. The poster depicted world leaders. Among them was Adolf Hitler, an image that upset Jewish students who brought it to the teacher's attention. Now, San Diego Union High School District is organizing a listening session with Jewish community leaders, as well as anti-bias training for faculty and staff specifically involving anti-Semitism. The poster was taken down and the district says it's taking a hard look at its curriculum. Someone abandoned more than 100 pigs along a road near Santa Isabel last week. Now officials are caring for these animals. They were left sometime Thursday night. A few have been hit and killed by cars, unfortunately. It's not clear why they were abandoned, but locals think the pigs simply got too expensive for someone to feed. As long as the pigs remain on the side of the road, locals say they will do their best to care for them. It kind of breaks my heart that these pigs are dying this way. I can't imagine not helping them. It certainly wasn't the right option and it wasn't the humane option. The county says these are pet pigs that sell for between $800 and $3,000. Since the pigs were abandoned on tribal land, County Animal Services doesn't have jurisdiction. But a county spokesman says they have offered to help. NBC7 contacted the tribal offices to see if they had a plan. They have not yet responded. Meteorologist Sheena Parveen will have a look at your weather right after this. You want fast internet? You want gig speeds from Cox? A gig is 320-somethings on one network. One mines crypto to the moon and back. Another eats, sleeps, and breathes gaming, but doesn't actually sleep. And the third video calls his long-distance love 24-7. Like never ever hangs up, ever. That's a gig. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. For today at the coast, clouds may be a little stubborn, but some late day clearing possibly mid 70s there. For the inland valleys, will be sunny in the mid 80s. Mountains around 80 degrees, deserts upper 90s. For the weekend ahead, it looks pretty good. The coast will be in about the mid to upper 70s. Very steady weather pattern for the inland valleys to about the mid 80s into the weekend. I don't see much of a warming trend though next week. Next week looks pretty cool and comfortable. Mountains will have a storm chance this weekend. Deserts around 90, Ashley. Looks very nice. Thank you so much, Sheena. Those are the top stories for today. For more coverage you count on, head on over to our website, NBC7.com.